Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about some fucking awesome extensions that I just got and I'm going to be doing a review over them today. Um, talking about the overall quality, um, how much shedding I have, um, the color, and also the pain. Because I don't know about you guys, but whenever I have something on my head for more than a couple hours, I always get a headache. So we're going to talk about that a little bit too. And let's get started. So the reason you freaking clicked on this video today is probably because I got 220 grams of hair that are 20 inches long for only $200 like what <laughs> so um that's like the best part if you've watched any of my other videos in like my very first one I think I talk about how fucking cheap I am and I'm constantly looking for um like the best product but like as cheap as I can possibly get it so these extensions were only $200 um I'm pretty sure on the website it says like nine a $199.99 and it comes out to like $210 with tax or whatever or shipping fees. Um, the website that I bought them from is going to be Wig is Fashion. Um, I do have a couple wigs by them which I really enjoyed. Um, those wigs that I bought were synthetic hair though and then these extensions are human hair. So um, that's kind of a difference. But um, this is what it would look like if you were purchasing them. Shows you all the different colors that you can buy and then also the different um, amount, the grams of the amount of hair that you can purchase. I'm pretty sure you can do like a hundred and something grams, like 17 for $117. I don't know, something like that. 120 probably actually. And then like 180 and two. I don't know. I'm just going to stop. So anyway, that's what that looks like. Um, and overall for like the quality, I'm pretty satisfied. Um, the colors came out really pretty. Um, when I purchased them, I ordered an ash blonde, which is why I've been trying to go to an ash blonde. Um, but then when I actually got the extensions, they were not ash blonde. They were like yellow. I'm not sure if I have a picture, but if I do, I'll post it. Um, and so then I ended up dyeing my hair again and then uh, dyeing my extensions too. But real quick, I'm going to throw those on really fast and show you what they look like. I'm so excited. <laughs> Really quick guys, I just wanted to give you some information that I forgot to include in my video. First of all, when you purchase these extensions, it comes with 10 clips so that you can easily cover your entire head and make it look as natural as possible. Um, second of all, when you purchase these extensions, they also come with a pair of 3D mink eyelashes that they sell for, on their website for $16, but they give it to you for free. And they also, if that wasn't good enough, give you a free detangling brush that they sell for $8 on their website. That And I use that detangling brush um, every single time I take my extensions out and put them in. It works wonders, I'm telling you. Oh, oh my goodness, look, my hair is so long. <laughs> Okay, so like, hello, $200 of this much hair? Yes, deal. <laughs> so back to what I was saying about overall um, quality, color, um, like shedding, and also the pain tolerance. Let's start back with quality. So why are these extensions $200? So, like I said before, when I got them in the box, um, they were like super yellow and then I had to dye them myself. There are multiple um, different like websites that you can buy extensions from where you can take a picture of your own hair and send it in with your order and then they'll try to match it as close as they possibly can to your hair already. That is obviously going to cost a lot more money than it is for you to buy a pair of extensions that you might have to dye yourself. Um, I'm not saying that you guys would have to do that because some people have, you know, like a black hair color that they want to buy these for or a brown even or they even have like a bright red. Um, but because my hair is blonde and blonde, there's so many different shades that you could go. Um, I just took the time to dye my own and 
I, so I could get it as close as I possibly can. These are still even lighter than my actual hair, um, but it still matches better than if I would have kept it fucking yellow that, that they came. Um, so <clears throat> for the overall quality, I think that um, they're really nice. Um, they feel really soft even after I like dyed them and did all my stuff. Um, they still came out, you know, pretty silky and shiny, and my hair just looks, like, natural and healthy, and it's so fucking weird, because I have had short hair for so long now, um, looking at myself, but, um, yeah, overall, I'm gonna give the quality, I'm gonna do, this is hard, I'm gonna do about an eight. I'm gonna give the quality an eight, because, one, it's gonna be harder for you to match them, and um two this is like natural human hair but i also can see that they mix like strands of what i think are synthetic colors so i don't think i'd be able i'd have to find one first but sometimes i find random just like dark brown strands and like red strands which is totally fine because i think that that just like makes it look more natural but um overall um <clears throat> i'm gonna give them about an eight and then um, as far as color, because of my own experiences, I'm going to give the color like a six because it didn't match the color of the description at all. I ordered ash blonde and they came out like super yellow. So I'm going to give color about a six. Um, overall um, for what was my other one? Shedding. Shedding. Um. Oh, goodness. Shedding, I'm going to give these about, I'm going to give it an eight. Um, that way, as far as, like, shedding goes, they're pretty good about not shedding. Um, because, yes, extensions are hard because, like, the same way with you ever wear a wig, um, with all this hair going on that's, like, not even yours, even with your natural hair, it gets really tangled up in the back. Um, and so when you do have to brush out all of those knots and tangles at the end of the day, you are going to have some shedding. Um, during, like, during the day, I don't really have a lot of fallout hair, but when I'm brushing it out, of course I'm going to because I'm tugging on it so hard. So I think that they're pretty good, um, so I'm going to give those an 8. And then last and not least, uh, my pain tolerance. When I wear these all day, I get... A pretty bad headache I don't know if it's you guys or if it's just me but um, as far as pain I'm gonna give these like a four just because I always have a headache at the end of the day um, and I don't know what to do to avoid that I'll just have to wear them more often and maybe get used to it and then my pain tones will go up so yeah um, I hope that this was super helpful for you guys I hope that you enjoyed um, looking at the difference of me with freaking short hair and then long hair it's like just it's blowing my mind so um hopefully if you guys want to you can go and check out that freaking website for some extensions freaking 220 grams guys this is insane this looks just insane so um i'm gonna put a link also in the description um for this video today go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you guys thought that this was helpful, um, please give me feedback. If you guys are enjoying me just talking about like stuff that I use every day. Um, I'd like to make a video on some products that I've been finding that have been really helping my hair um, get feel healthier. And also, um, yeah, maybe like a couple makeup shit. I don't know. I've been wanting to do a full face in 10 minutes makeup tutorial, but... Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. I Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> awesome. And also, um, go ahead and subscribe to, my, subscribe to my channel if you guys thought that this was helpful and you'd like to see more helpful videos. Because I'm just trying to help you guys out. <laughs> awesome. Um, I, I hope you have a great day. I fucked everything up. <laughs> see you guys next time.